Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hot Steel and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Last time we managed to get a long ladder out here into space. And as our iron volcano, um, well, the iron volcano is not defect but the pickup system is so we have to wait for it to become dormant so we can fix it we have a layer of uh, polluted oxygen here on top and that prevents the uh, steam turbines uh, to do their cooling job um, then on here we are still working on the uh, conveyor rail, getting everything uh, here to the top. We should be able to, to finish that, uh, bringing the uh, iron up here, producing a bit more steel. And we then will need the steel up on top. And seeing that we have a bit of plastic to spare, here it says 200 kilos, but here we do not have the 200 kilos for the creature trap. That's kind of weird, but it is what it is. We have the two trap doors uh, done, so. Let's um, create some ladders here to the side out of mafic rock. This is rock that we uh, dig out here on top, so we do not have to haul it uh, massive uh, distances. And this should allow us uh, a bit of uh, space up here. And then we will continue with the project here on top, building more, um, more bunker doors. And eventually we shall have something here um, so we can finish off our research um, and also some solar panels um, but that's quite a bit away yet okay uh, we can up the priority on the remaining pieces and then we should see uh, more uh, steel coming out of here. I wait with the queuing up of the steel until we have the uh, rail done because then we can actually deliver the steel or the, the iron for the steel production automatically. Which is a big relief because the duplicates do not need to run around um, collecting all the iron. And as the uh, as we cannot access the uh, the iron in here for quite uh, a bit of time, um, we have another iron source here at the top you can see there is iron lying around and that comes in from comets from outer space um, it's not much uh, but it's it's quite a bit not much, but quite a bit. So, 
we shall make use of that and we will oh, let me see how we do this uh, here on top we also have um, gold amalgam and copper and there we have a shower floor that lets the light through. And here you can see these ladders. Um, they are getting destroyed. Um, but they can still walk on them. Okay, you see they collect the gold amalgam from top here to build the uh, various pieces. So that also helps with uh, the amount of way they have to go uh, and curiously enough while these meteors can damage uh, our buildings um, they do not harm the uh, duplicates so This, but we will not yet create the wall under here because um, this mesh tile would get damaged um, by the meteors. But what we need to do is this little auto repair on all of these so that they are not being repaired and duplicates can still walk on them even if they are basically uh, destroyed. And this is quite a tedious process. Okay, we are ready, let's get more um, uh, 
more steel produced. Um, and your side, uh, the metal is automatically, or the iron is automatically uh, put in there. And we shall see what we have in here. Uh, Mock root, no thank you. That's not a very good food source. We have better things to uh, chew on and we have enough of it. So don't need that actually. So how much did we pick up here? Uh, only about 200 kilos is, is lying down here. The rest is all on the rails. Bunker door requires 500 kilograms of steel, so quite a bit of steel goes into these uh, bunker doors until we have uh, all everything covered. Still have a bit of slime left. Um, we can disable these buildings. So we should be have enough oxygen from the two systems, right and left. Digging a bit of a of a hole here. Disable, disable, 
go down to this side. Disable. 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 And some more. Working out fine so far. Apart from the the hiccup we had with the uh, volcano. Okay. But, uh, we'll need to uh, break this tile here. side and then we shall have ourselves a bit of uh, crude oil we should have enough lying around and we actually do not need a huge amount there but in here we will place uh, Robo Miner, and that one will take care of all the debris which uh, lands on top here and will fall down once we uh, open the, uh, the doors. But the miner uh, will heat up, so we need a bit of, uh, of cooling. So that's why we shall have this going on here and on here with the uh, dry ball behind uh, and the uh, crude oil here at the bottom. Uh, that basically creates an atmosphere that allows uh, cooling. stand here okay we need way more steel but I think uh, we should also think about switching out the uh, heavy wood wire uh, which can carry 20,000 kilo or uh, 20 kilowatt or 20,000 watt uh, with uh, conductive wire. Um, 
heavy conductive wire which can carry 50 kilo watt and has less impact on the decor it's minus 20 for four tiles uh, versus minus 25 for six tiles but this one is just made out of ore and this one out of refined metal so we still have not the uh, huge amount uh, of, of metal um, but when I look here we have a potential load that's almost half the amount um, that the wire can carry and uh, as we go along we will need uh, way more so I think I will start with uh, switching out the uh, joint plates and I think we need to deconstruct those and replace them and we need to take a close look on that but that's another project for the future um, for now uh, I will say Goodbye, and I hope you join me next time when we uh, maybe tackle the, the wiring or something else. So, see you soon. Goodbye!